the content of websites, social media pages, applications, and games which can be accessed from devices such as televisions, computers, tablets, and smartphones is referred to as multimedia content. This is because it is presented using a range of different forms including text, audio, images, animations, videos, and interactive content. In the same way that architects design buildings, the work of multimedia designers is to design multimedia content. A key difference, however, is that while multimedia design may be commissioned by client companies, the outputs must be user-centric and focused on meeting the needs of the client's customers. Client briefs and follow-up discussions set in motion the process of designing or redesigning multimedia content. The first step of the design thinking process is conducting broad-based research about the client and their multimedia problem. Designers need to identify all the various points at which users touch the product or brand, as some problems may be peripheral. They also need to understand who the multimedia users are or will be and to develop personas that typify each segment. By processing the information and understanding the needs and challenges of each persona, designers are able to define the exact problem. The next step requires creative thinking or brainstorming to come up with a range of potential solutions. In this process, designers consider factors such as the design of logos, fonts, backgrounds, frames, and page layouts. They consider the inclusion and placement of interactive features and interfaces and how these relate to each other. They bring together elements of motion graphics and interactive design. They also consider the operating systems of the devices for which they're designing. Making and breaking the best of these options in a cyclical manner allows designers to eventually come up with the best solution. In this process, they move from low fidelity design, in which little time and few resources are invested in design concepts, to high fidelity design, in which prototypes or minimum viable products are developed. User testing at each stage of the concept and product refinement processes is critical to ensure products that are ultimately user-centric. Feedback received assists in identifying new or remaining problems that need to be addressed. Because of the complexity of multimedia design, designers generally work collaboratively in teams in studios where individuals tend to specialize in certain aspects of the process. This occupation is well suited to creative and artistic people with a love for technology, who are at the same time curious, good at listening, and focused on solving problems. Multimedia designers strive to deliver to their clients products that are user-friendly, logical, and appropriate in terms of the devices they are accessed from. Ultimately, they design to create a positive, seamless, and cohesive user experience.